Alrighty, good morning guys. It's about 7.35. We gotta get some work done early this morning for everybody wakes the hell up and annoys me. So we're gonna start off with 2005, a movie for every year of my life. It's been gone for about almost a month. So yeah, let's get into it. <clears throat> so the movie we have next up for now is Munich. Munich was a good movie. I love this movie. I saw this movie back in high school, believe it or not. They showed this in high school. I think it was in 2006 when I seen it, but still, yeah, it was a great movie. Eric Bana stole it. Oh man, that that was such a sad event too. So that this movie didn't this movie didn't bullshit around. It, it got straight to the point, and it was awesome. Next up, we have Rumor Has It. I saw this movie like a month and a half ago at my at right here. My girlfriend watched that movie. We was in bed and we watched it. It was bullshit, of course. Kevin Costner wasted his time. Jennifer Aniston, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. But that, that was just a piece of shit. Fun with Dick and Jane. I love this movie. Jim Carrey was awesome. Oh my god. Uh, and he produced it too, so he knew what the fuck he was up going to do. And it was just great. Loved it. Cheaper by the Dozen 2. Not the best sequel, but it was still a good family time. The Producers. This was another musical from 2005 with Matthew Broderick and Nathan Lane it was okay okay I think Scarlett Johansson was in that if I'm not mistaken if she will I'm about to check that out again I think she was in that hmm okay don't don't laugh at me Brokeback Mountain yes I saw that movie and yes I'm gonna be reviewing it maybe not this year but maybe next year yeah, because I'm not ready to watch that again. <laughs> so, it's that review will be coming, but it was a it was a good movie. I mean, let alone the side of two guys fucking, but no, this is just not right. <laughs> but it was a good movie, though. Seriously, it was a good movie. Aeon Flux. Um, not the best movie, but. You got to see Charlize, Charlize Theron in skimpy tight leather outfit. Black tight skimpy leather outfit. I'm in. <laughs> Next up we have the remake of Yours, Mine's, and Ours. Worst comedy ever. Dennis Quaid, yeah his career was just about over at that point. Renee Russo, did she ever have a career? Besides like the Weapon 4 and 3? Complete and other disrespect to the original that starred Lucille Ball. Fuck that movie. Lucille Ball's movie is the best Yours, Mine, and Ours and will always be Yours, Mine, and Ours. And I hope one day the Criterion Collection will buy the original Yours, Mine, and Ours with Lucy in it because it deserves to be a, to get the Blu-ray treatment and let alone the reserve the respect of Criterion. Rent. Rent was a good musical. I love Rent. I got that shit and I can't stop singing that movie. If it's on Blu-ray, let me know. Because I don't think it's on Blu-ray yet. I just know I have to have the, the DVD of it. <clears throat> just Friends. I love this movie. Ryan Reynolds was awesome. Amy Smart's hot. Just just a good time. You know what I mean? It's, it's like... Uh, what is that movie? I forget the name of that movie. But Ryan Reynolds was like a fat boy. And then all these years later, he loses weight. It's good. It, it, it's been done before, but I just forgot the name of the title. But it's been done, but it was good. In the Mix. This is the only movie with Usher in it. Or well, second movie with Usher in it, if you count uh, uh, The Faculty. But this movie was... Okay. To tell you the truth, I, I, I actually enjoyed it. I didn't laugh or nothing like that. It was just something I can watch as a, every now and then, like every two or three years. I can put it in the mix and be okay with it. I have the bootleg DVD, which is actually the DVD copy on a bootleg disc. But still, I only paid $5 for it, so. The Ice Harvest, the worst movie ever made. Why did this movie come out on Christmas? Why did my auntie go take us to see this bullshit? I don't know. What, what the fuck, John Cusack? What, what the fuck was this shit? This was stupid. This was supposed to be a comedy, and I didn't laugh once. And I remember that shit. I do. Walk the line. Damn straight. We're gonna walk that line, because fucking Johnny Cash 
Johnny Cash. It's fucking awesome. Rest in peace. Walking Joaquin Phoenix did a good job. Reese Witherspoon. No. Makes me want to throw up a little bit. <laughs> she was good in the road, though. Derailed. At this point, I wish Jennifer Aniston's career would have derailed after this movie. Because <laughs> this was just a bullshit-ass movie. Jarhead. Yeah, that that was a good movie. Jake Gyllenhaal knows how to pick a role that doesn't suck. Okay? This man knows how to pick movies. He doesn't pick anything. He picks movies that's going to be good. No matter if it makes money or not, as long as it's good, he's going to be in it. Chicken Little. Yes, I remember this movie. I got it on bootleg DVD. I don't know if I want to buy it on Blu-ray yet. But it was okay. Saw 2. Um, not the best sequel in my mind. Um, but it was, it was okay. I mean, you got Mark Wahlberg's brother, Donnie Wahlberg, in this motherfucker. And, yeah, Donnie can't act. Not as much as Mark can, you know. But, it was okay. Pry. I remember this movie, too. And then a few, a month and a half ago, me and my girlfriend watched it here again. She didn't know I'd seen the movie at first. Like, you ever seen this movie called Prime? Baby, I'm the master of movies, okay? I've seen almost every movie. Prime was about um, Uma Thurman going out with this younger guy, like mid-20s. Kind of sound like me and her. But uh, it was actually her therapist's son she went out with. And the therapist, who was Meryl Streep, didn't know about it yet. But when she found out about it, she let... Uma Thurman basically tell everything that they were doing. And it fucked, it fucked Meryl Streep up badly. <laughs> and it was such a good movie. I loved it. Stay. This is the movie with Hugh McGregor. Um, um, I know her name, damn it. Naomi Watts. There we go. And I believe somebody else was in there too. The, I bought this on DVD. This was like a weird, weird thriller. Excuse me. Sorry about that. A weird thriller, but it was kind of boring for me. I, I didn't really enjoy it. I sold it right after I bought it. So, yeah. Stay away from, well, stay. <laughs> Next up, Doom. Yes, I know. I'm going to get that still book, but this still is the worst fucking video game adaptation ever. Dwayne Johnson was just horrible in this movie. Carl Urban was the only good thing about it. Kind of, but yeah, I like that first person shooter element they put in this movie, but that was about all they had going for it. But I'm still get that still book because I am a completist, so yeah. Another horror, slap, crappy horror remake, The Fog, with Tom Welling. Oh my god, you got, you got Clark Kent from Smallville in this movie. Why am I not surprised Maggie Grace is in this movie? You, how you make a movie with Superman and make it suck? How is that possible? It's possible. Because this movie fucking sucked. <clears throat> Damn. Domino. I love this movie. This movie was awesome. Okay, fucking Natalie Portman. I believe that, 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 yeah, that was Natalie Portman. Hell yeah. She was, she was somewhat hot. I don't know how, but she was. Maybe because she was just kick-ass in this movie. I don't know. But this movie was awesome. Check it out. Waiting. Waiting with Ryan Reynolds is fucking awesome. Loved it. <clears throat> Into the Blue. This is an okay thriller with Paul Walker and uh, Jessica Alba. Yeah. Serenity. Oh. This movie is A-plus material right here. But it's more than A-plus material. It will be when I give it, when I review it, it's going to be what I'm going to call it when I review it at some point. But it'll be after I review uh, Firefly. A History of Violence. Oh, my lord. I love A History of Violence. This is such a good movie. Oh. Uh, I remember me and my girlfriend watched this at my house, my old house, back in January when we had that little marathon. She ain't never seen it. She loved it. And, um, I was rubbing her leg at the time, 
and it was on that scene where him and his wife, him and uh, Maria Bella were doing it on the stairs. <laughs> I was so into it. I squeezed the living hell out of her leg while I was rubbing, while we were watching it. <laughs> and she knew it too. <laughs> oh, flight plan. Not a good thriller at all. Joey Foster just phoned this one in. It was just a stupid movie. I, it took me five times to complete this goddamn movie. Wolf Creek. Another stupid movie. I hate this movie. I hate it so with a passion. Just like this next one, Cry Wolf. I hate that too. It was just stupid. I had to put them side by side. They were just ass. Corpse Bride. Good film. Giant Death was awesome. The Man. The Man sucked. This is with Samuel L. Jackson and Eugene Levy. Crap. Red Eye. Red Eye was a good <coughs> West Craven thriller. Richard McAdams was hot. Killian Murphy was awesome. 40 year old virgin. This just came on yesterday on E. Best motherfucking comedy I have ever seen. Now when I first bought this movie on DVD, it took me like two two tries to complete it because I fell asleep the very first time. Then at the second time, I was like, oh yeah, this is my movie right here. <coughs> Surprisingly enough, my girlfriend liked, liked this movie. I was shocked. I didn't think women knew what a good movie was. Besides romantic movies, but she likes it. Thank you. God, I got a woman who likes good shit. <laughs> Four Brothers. Yeah, this movie was alright. It wasn't the best. But I, I, I enjoyed it. Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. Not the best sequel at all. We saw this in theaters, for crying out loud. And this movie was not that good. First one's good. This one's not. The Dukes of Hazard. I love this movie. This movie is fucking hilarious, man. Sean William Scott, Johnny Knoxville, Jessica Simpson. Yeah. Good film. Transporter 2. Yeah. Yeah, Jason Statham. Fucking awesome. That ending scene was a little bit much, but it was awesome. <laughs> Sky High. Ugh. Next. The Skeleton Key. It took me like three tries to complete this movie. And this is that horror flick with Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson in the horror movie. Really. It sucked. <laughs> Stealth. Stealth was... Not the best movie I've ever seen. I mean, you got Jessica Alba, Jamie Foxx, and fucking Josh Lucas. And this movie was still stupid. Um... Wedding Crashers, another great comedy. Dark Water, the worst horror thriller ever. It took me forever to complete this movie the first time around. Maybe about up to almost to a year. Yes, this movie was that fucking horrible. <laughs> Rebound. This was an okay Martin Lawrence film, but not the best one. Fantastic Four. This piece of shit came out on my birthday. I did not know that until I looked it up on Wikipedia. I'm like, are you serious? I thought this movie didn't come out until the fucking, fucking July. June 29th. Ugh. Maybe because we saw it in July. June 29th. Why, Tim Story? Why? This movie was shit. Fuck you for doing that. Land of, Land of the Dead. Good film. I loved it. I love the way that they made the zombies smart. Bewitched. The worst birthday gift ever. This movie sucked. Herbie. Fully Loaded. Again. Movie sucked. Got nothing on the originals. The Perfect Man. This one was okay. What is this about? Well, this was about, at the time, my uh, favorite love interest, Hilary Duff. Tried to set her mom, Heather Locklear, up on a date with a, a different man. See which one was the perfect man for her. It was a good film. I liked it. It was nice. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. In a movie where you got Alexis Bledel, America Ferreira, uh, Amber, Amber something, not Amber Heard, but it was another Amber, Amber Tamblin. I mean, and it was... Okay. The sequel was okay too, but yeah. The remake of The Longest Yard. 
this one was good. You have a bunch of WWE superstars in there, like Stone Cold, Great Khali, fucking God knows who else. Burt Reynolds came back in here. It was good. Not as good as the original, but it was alright. you probably never hear me say that about another Adam Sandler movie from 2006 on up. <laughs> probably. Oh, until we get to the Zohan, because for some reason I like that movie. Uh, Madagascar. No, I didn't like it. I saw this while I was getting my taxes done. Kicking and Screaming. It was okay film. Will Ferrell's alright. Monster in Law. I actually had a little bit of fun with this movie. This is kind of like a guilty pleasure comedy with Jennifer Lopez in it. I don't know why, but it was it was kind of fun. I liked it. Whack, House of Wax. Worst horror remake ever. Crash. Oh yeah, this movie had the balls to come out in May. It had the balls to come out in summer, and it was just just awesome. Triple X State of the Union. Fuck that movie. The Interpreter. An interesting little thriller. I found myself watching this on DVD more times than I imagined. I liked it with Sean Penn and um, Uma Thurman. No, um. Nicole Kidman, there we go. It was pretty good. Sahara. I saw this on TV a year and a half ago. It was okay. I didn't laugh or anything. Matthew McConaughey was good, but it was alright. <coughs> Sin City. Badass. Can't wait to review it. Can't wait to see the second one. Guess who? Percy Jones, boy. Bernie Mac, Ashton Kutcher. Fucking awesome. I love this movie. I didn't think I was going to like it. This movie was actually fucking funny. I loved it. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. That's the man I used to say on uh, um, Bernie Mac show. For heaven's sakes, Mr. Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Congeniality 2, Arm and Fabulous. Next. Ice Princess. Next. The Ring 2. Okay, sequel. I kind of like this one better than the first one. Hostage. Bruce Willis. I don't think that was ever a reason for you to even do this movie. Next. The Pacifier. Next. Man of the House. Tommy Lee Jones, what the fuck? Next. Be Cool. Be Cool. I fucking love Be Cool. It's awesome. I've never seen Get Shorty yet, but I will. And tch, Dwayne Johnson was awesome as a gay guy for... That's the only time you hear me say a gay guy was awesome in this movie. Because Dwayne Johnson did a good job at playing a gay guy. That, that was cool. Hence the title. Be cool. <laughs> Boogeyman. A movie so fucking boring. I literally fell asleep. And then every time I moved, the movie would go. It would, I wake up like what I miss. Go back to sleep. It literally has to take a high moment. Like a high shrieking noise of music. To wake my ass up again. This movie was fucking boring. Seriously. Constantine. This was like DC's rise to make DC movies. And it was a good start. I liked it, Constantine. It was awesome. Okay? A year later, we'll get Superman Returns. But Constantine is awesome. I loved it. Coach Carter. A movie that I didn't even know Chang Tatum was even in. Until um, I just seen it on Wikipedia. I'm like, Shane Tatum was in Coach Carter? Seriously? No, I never watched that. I saw this in high school, back in Homeroom. You know, Homeroom was only like 10 or 15 minutes, but I watched it in there, and every other day we would come back and finish it. I did not know he was in there. <laughs> Maybe because I never, we never heard of him at the time. So now i got to rewatch it just to find out what he looked like then. Assault on Precinct 13. Not the best remake whatsoever. Electra. Worst superhero fucking film ever besides Catwoman. White Noise. I like this movie. It was fun. I liked the sequel too a little bit with Nathan Fillion. This one had Michael Keaton. So it was awesome. Hitch. Next. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Cool. Badass. It's just awesome. King Kong. Okay. Not the best. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The first Harry Potter movie I've seen. Good. I liked it. War of the Worlds. Gotta love a good Steven Spielberg and Tom Cruise film. 
fucking loved it. That Colin Fanning annoyed the shit out of me. This actually did everybody else. Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Rise, Lord Vader. I fucking love this movie. Okay, besides uh, Empire, Empire Strikes Back, this is the second, my second favorite one of the franchise. Well, y yeah. And last not least, Batman Begins. Because we gotta begin, because Batman and Robin suck dick. And so we got this one right here down in the middle called Batman Begins. And it was just fucking awesome. I don't know what the fuck all these hands justice were for, but okay. This movie was just badass. I reviewed it last year. Nobody watched barely any of my Dark Knight reviews. Fuck that. Watch those reviews, because they're awesome. Let me know what your guys' favorite movies of 2005 are down below. Sorry, this video's a little long. We're going to be having a Robocop 4 review today and Q&A, so stay tuned for that. Gotta let my camera charge. I'm out, bitches. Peace.